Hi children, welcome back to Samir Teacher's Classroom. Hope you are doing great. Today, you are going to learn the second lesson of Unit 9, On Top of the World. So, get ready with all these books. Children, are you ready? Okay, let's start our lesson. Children, as you already know, today we are going to learn about Adverbs of Frequency. Dwee putte oyala danna paridi adha pikena ganne anne Adverbs of Frequency kiyana grammar lesson neka. Hondai, ehenan api molinma balamu Adverbs kiyanne monawada kiyala. So children, first let's have a look on what are Adverbs. Well, Adverbs are the words that we use to modify verbs. Adverbs kyanne api kriya pada vistratma ka vidri pat karana bavita karana vachana valata. And also, adverbs give more information about the verb. Eva gema kriya pada gana thava turata turatur labadena apita me adverbs vali. Balana ka menna me sentence eka. Now, look at this sentence. The dog. Eats meat. The dog eats meat. Bala mas kanava. Itin meva ke tiana eats kiana vachane tamayehi verb beka kriya pade venne. Itin napitame kriya pade venna mehem tavadrata meva ke venas karla vistragarana puluan neither. Look at this sentence. The dog eats meat. Greedily. The dog eats meat greedily. Ehenam, me greedily kiyana padaye napi kriyava vistara karanava. Balla maskhanava kohomada kadara lesa. Greedily. It describes how the dog eats meat. So, greedily is the adverb of this sentence. And it describes the verb eats. It in may greedily kiana adverb bekin eats kiana verb beka vistara karnava. Saralama kiana vanam eats kiana kriya padaya greedily kiana kriya visheshana padayan vistara karnava. Hondai. Tangoyala dhanava adverbs kiana monavada kiala. Hinam menname sentence kadbalana. Now pay your attention to this sentence. We go to school at 7 a.m. We go to school at 7 a.m. So, what is the adverb of this sentence? Yes, that is 7 a.m. It describes when we go to school. It further describes the verb go. So, 7 a.m. Is the adverb of this sentence and the verb go is described by it. Itin meva ke kriya visheshna padaya vedne 7 am kiyaneka emagin go kiyana kriya padaya vistara karla tiyana. Itin duve putte me vidihe vivida kara adverbs kriya visheshna pada ingresi basha ve tiyana. It in a atarin adapi katakaranyane adverbs of frequency. Frequency gana kia vena adverbs gana. So now tell me what are adverbs of frequency? Yes, we can simply give a definition for that like this. Adverbs of frequency tells us how often something takes place. Adverbs of frequency magin napita kiya nama yamak kochchala kaale akata varak siddhu venavada kiyala. How often something occurs. Eva to udahar na kipayak ma mulin ma kiya na moya alata. Some examples for adverbs of frequency are always, usually, never, Sometimes and rarely. Hundai. 
දැන් අපි මේ adverbs of frequency කියන grammar point එක උදාහරණ මගින් පැහැදිලි කරගමු. Children, now tell me how often do you read newspapers? How often do you read newspapers? ඔයා කොච්චර කාලයකට සැරයක්ද පුවත්පත් කියවන්නේ? ඔව්. ඔයා කියවා වි සමහර විට මම හැමතිස්සෙම පුවත්පත් කියවනවා. මම හැමතිස්සෙම පුවත්පත් කියවනවා. අපි කොහොමද මේක ඉංග්‍රීසි භාෂාවෙන් කියන්නේ? මම පුවත්පත් කියවනවා කියලා කියන්නේ කොහොමද? Yes. I read newspapers. එහෙනම් මම හැමතිස්සෙම පුවත්පත් කියවනවා. කොහොමද කියන්නේ? Yes. I always read newspapers. I always read newspapers. ඉතින් මේ වාක්‍යයේ always කියන්නේ හැමතිස්සෙම කියන අදහස ඒක adverbs of frequency එකක්. ඒ වගේම always හැමතිස්සෙම කියලා කියද්දී අපි කතා කරන කාලෙන් 100ට 100කට ආසන්නව මේ ක්‍රියාව සිදු කරනවා කියලා තමයි අපි හඟවන්නේ. හොඳයි. දැන් හිතමු ඔයා කියනවා කියලා මම කවදාවත් news papers කියවන්නේ නැහැ. මම කවදාවත් news papers කියවන්නේ නැහැ. කොහොමද මේ වාක්‍ය ලියන්නේ? Yes. I never read newspapers. I never read newspapers. මම කවදාවත් news papers කියවන්නේ නැහැ. ඒ සිදුවන ප්‍රමාණය 100ට බින්දුවයි. ඉතින් මේ විදිහට ඔයාලට ඔයාලා කොච්චර කාලයකට සැරයක්ද යම්කිසි ක්‍රියාවක් කියන්නේ කියලා කියන්න adverbs of frequency භාවිත කරන්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් මේ always කියලා 100ට 100ක් හඟවන frequency adverb එක වගේම never කියලා 100ට බින්දුවක් හඟවන adverbs of frequency එක අතර තවත් කියන්න පුළුවන් දේවල් තියෙනවා. For example, මම සාමාන්‍යයෙන් පුවත්පත් කියවනවා. I usually read newspapers. මම නිතරම පුවත්පත් කියවනවා. I often read newspapers. මම සමහර වෙලාවට පුවත්පත් කියවනවා. I sometimes read newspapers. මම කලාතුරකින් පුවත්පත් කියවනවා. I rarely read newspapers. ඉතින් බලන්න මේ sentences වල කොච්චර කාලයකට වරක්ද පුවත්පත් ක්‍රියවීම කියන ක්‍රියාව සිදු කරන්නේ කියලා පැහැදිලිව විස්තර වෙලා තියෙනවා. එතනදී always කියද්දී හැමතිස්සෙම සිදු කරනවා. usually කියද්දී ඊට වඩා ටිකක් අඩු කාල සීමාවන් වලදී තමයි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ක්‍රියාව සිදු වෙන්නේ. often කියන්නේ ඊට අඩුවෙන්. නමුත් නිතර සිදු වෙන ක්‍රියාවක් sometimes කියන්නේ සමහර වෙලාවට often වලට වඩා ඒකේ ප්‍රමාණය අඩුයි. රියාලි කියන්නේ කලාතුරකින්. නමුත් රියාලි කියද්දී never වලට වඩා වැඩිපුර ක්‍රියාව සිදු වෙන බව අපිට පැහැදිලි. ඉතින් මෙතන මම දක්වලා තියෙන්නේ ඒ ක්‍රියාව කොච්චර කාලයකට සැරයක් සිදු වෙනවද කියලා ඔයාලට දල අදහසක් ගන්න පුළුවන් පිරමිඩ් එකක්. Okay. So children always usually often sometimes rarely and never are adverbs of frequency. ඒ වගේම මේ තියෙන usually කියන adverb එකට ගොඩාක් සමාන්තරව යන adverbs දෙකක් තමයි normally සාමාන්‍යයෙන් සහ generally කියලා කියන්නෙත්. ඉතින් ඔයාලා grade 8 වලදී මෙන්න මේ තියෙන adverbs ටික තමයි දැනගෙන ඉන්න ඕනේ. එහෙනම් දැන් ඔයාලට පුළුවන් මේ නෝට් එක ඔයාලගේ writing book එකේ ලියා ගන්න. So children, you should know these adverbs of frequency when you are in grade 8. So now you can copy down this note in your writing book. ह 
හොඳයි මම හිතනවා ඔයාලා ලියා ගන්න ඇද්දි කියලා දුවේ පුතේ මේ adverbs of frequency වලට අමතරව තවත් adverbs ඉංග්‍රීසි භාෂාවේ තියෙනවා අපි ඒ ගැන ඉදිරියේදී ඉගෙන ගන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා දැනට ඔයාලා මම කලින් දුන්න adverbs ටික දැනගෙන හිටියම ප්‍රමාණවත් හොඳයි දැන් මම කතා කරන්න යන්නේ කොහොමද මේ adverbs of frequency වාක්‍ය වල නිවැරදිව භාවිත කරන්නේ කියලා children now let's discuss how we can use these adverbs of frequency when we write sentences now pay your attention to my first example read it i always read newspapers i always read newspapers me sentence ke i kiyanne subject ekka always kiyanne adverb ekka read kiyanne kriya pade verb ekka newspapers kiyanne object ekka children in this sentence i is the subject always is the adverb read is the verb and newspapers is the object again pay your attention to it in this sentence always is the adverb and read is the verb as you can see the adverb has been written before the verb walta pena vidihata kriya padayata pera thamai metanadi adverb eka liyala thiyenne ehenam duwe pute api vakyaka adverb eka liyaddi api eliyanne pradana kriyawata pera children we write adverbs in front of the main verb in sentences ethin meka oyala hondata mataka tiya ganna adverbs vakya wala nivaradiya bhavita karana aakarayak thamai me dakkala tiyenne then balanna mage devani udaharanaya now read my second example she is always busy she is always busy children in this sentence always is the adverb and you can't find out a main verb in this sentence but you can find out a be verb me kriyave pradana kriyawa neme deela tiyenne be verb ekak am me sa aadi be verb ekak thamai metanadi tiyenne ithin duwe pote me wage be verb ekak vakyake ededdi අපි adverb එක ලියන්නේ be verb එකට පසුව. Children, we write adverbs after the be verbs in the sentences. Is it clear? Right. Now look at this example. Read it with me. I brush my teeth twice a day. I brush my teeth twice a day. So, tell me what is the adverb of this sentence yes that is twice a day twice a day is the adverb of this sentence ithin me wake adverb ek wenne twice a day kiyana eka ithin duwe pute den wala mataka tiya ganna one menna me karunath e thamai twice once wage adverbs වාක්‍ය වල ඉදෙද්දි අපි ඒවා ලියන්නේ වාක්‍යයේ අවසානයට. Children, we write adverbs such as once and twice at the end of the sentences. හොඳයි. අපි ඒ උදාහරණ තුන නැවත මතක් කරගමු. Read this note with me. We write adverbs in front of the main verb in the sentences. For example, I always read newspapers. We write adverbs after the helping verbs in the sentences. She is always busy. We write adverbs such as once and twice at the end of the sentences. I brush my teeth twice a day is an example sentence for that. හොඳයි එහෙනම් මම දැන් ඔයාලට අවස්ථාව දෙනවා මේ නෝට් එකත් ඔයාලගේ රයිට් එම් බුක් එකට කොපි කරගන්න. ඔකේ චිල්ඩ්‍රන් නව් යු කැන් කොපි ඩවුන් දිස් නෝට් ටු ඉන්ටර් රයිට් එම් බුක්.
Well, now you know what are adverbs, what are adverbs of frequency and you can name some examples for them and now you know how to use them in sentences. So, now let's see how this learning point is given in your pupil's book. So that, take out your pupil's book and turn to page number 99. This is it. Learning point. Read it with me. We use adverbs of frequency when we say how often something happens. These adverbs are usually placed in front of the main verb in the sentences. Examples, always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, rarely, never. Adverbs such as once and twice usually go at the end of the sentence. Okay children, now let's look at some more examples. Read them with me. Mr. Pereira usually goes to work by bus. Chatura always gets up before 5.30 a.m. I never lie to my parents. Netmi often stays after school for badminton practice. Do you sometimes feel lonely? The garbage truck comes once a week. Children, now can you underline the given adverbs in these sentences? Okay, now underline the adverbs in these sentences. finished? Okay, let's see. In the first sentence, you can find out the adverb usually. In the second sentence, you can find out always and never in the third sentence, often in the fourth sentence, sometimes in the fifth sentence and once a week in the last sentence. Very good children. Now let's attempt some questions to practice these adverbs of frequency. For that, turn to page number 100 of your pupil's book. First, let's do activity 9.3. Here it is, activity 9.3. Look at the question. The following pictures show certain things that Suresh does. Look at the pictures and write sentences using the adverbs given. The first one is done for you. It is not a good thing. I am going to tell you that Suresh is a good thing. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. Adverbs are a good thing. इतनी नौ आल्ट पे नौ ऐतिह पालेवे ने पिक्चर है के दी या या गया मट्टे उदाव करना वा ये वाके मां बिटे ऑलवेज के नेटवर्क बेका दीलती है ना वा एक यार ने सुरेश हमती से में उदाव करना वा ओह गे अम्मा आटे इतनी नौ दाहरना वा क्या दीलती है ना वा मैंने में है मा सुरेश ऑलवेज हेल्प्स इस मदर मंदाय ऐनाम दुए पुत्र वाला अनेक पेंथोरा टिकात बालाला में वागे वाक्य निर्माण कराना वाला पीली तुरुली ऐला दें वीडियो का प्ले कराना ओके चिल्ड्रन नाउ यू कैन ट्राई टू मेक सेंटेंसेस यूजिंग द गिवन एडवर्ब्स टू डिस्क्राइब दिस पिक्चर्स आफ्टर दैट प्ले द वीडियो टू चेक योर आंसर्स Great. I think you have written your answers. 
So let's check them. This is the first picture and the given example is Suresh always helps his mother. Now look at the second picture. Here Suresh is playing with his friends and the given adverb is usually. So we can write our sentence like this. He usually plays with his friends. He usually plays with his friends. Look at the next picture. He reads a book. And the given adverb is often. So the correct answer is he often reads books. He often reads books. Look at picture number 4. In this picture, you can see that Suresh is going to school. We can write a sentence like this. Suresh never goes to school. Suresh He never goes to school late. He never goes to school late. Eva game Mayala Danawa may grade eight pupils book keke versions kipeaktianawa, Samaharito Yala Gi Pote Dilati Hatravini Pinture Vidhiata Pirimila make a guitar ekaktianawa if in a kotali and pulwa he never plays a guitar. He never plays guitars. Right. Now look at the next picture. Sometimes he sometimes helps his sister with her studies. Methin mamali up a sentence, a kiting all that. The Annapuluang may vage sentences. He sometimes reads books with his sister. He sometimes reads books. Adi vashe no yala vivida vaki realati. Balana yala givaki grammatically correct or a lira theana the kila. Hari, you know the picture? Yes, he is eating a sandwich. Eva gave me a picture of the adverb. I have a reality. It is in my picture. I have a picture of the answers. He rarely has his breakfast. Yeah, Kalatura Kintama Yagi Udea Hare Garni. Himanatnam. He rarely eats sandwiches. Ea kala turakin tamai sandwiches kane. Tawatu da harne ak balamu. He rarely skip his breakfast. Ea kala turakin tamai agi ute kaima manga harine. Eva ke maala ke potal dila tiyan wana lamai tun denek kahirak matin parama aruena darshane ak. Ehena maayat le ane poluang menna mehema. He rarely uses the zebra crossing. And I think Mama Hitana, I like me with the other Alagi Pilitru Lilati Kila Sartha cover. Eva Gamer may grammar point take a practice Karana Pita Goda, pupils book activities, the her workbook activities, the Latianava. I think Mama Eva, I like a ilaka pardam in Saka Chakarana. It in Ethakam, I like me pardam and Avatanavatan Arapamin, pardam Karagana. Visheshenma, may the Vasula never say Radi sit in a dual butala at a polua, or alagi kale and astikaran in a tua kale, kalamana karne karagani min, may vage self learning videos narabana, or alagi pelapot never than ever the kiavana, eva game a model paper, so let a puluan taram pilitruliana. O better puluan, o better manano, cast anak sakas karagana, never say sitama, or alagi a dear penicatio to a lay then. Itin. Hinam, other than say homework at Vitekamaka the Kiela, Api then Balamo. Children, this is your homework. Make at least five sentences using the adverbs of frequency you learn today. Other than say Aleganagat, the adverbs of frequency Babita Karami, Adamatarame Vaka Pakwat, Alutin Nirmane Karana. Okay, children, today in this lesson we discussed the adverbs of frequency. So I think you really learned this grammar point well. If so, don't forget to hit the like button and share this lesson with your friends. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it and click the bell icon to receive your new notifications as soon as I upload a new video. 
Thank you for watching this lesson and hope to see you again soon with the next lesson to practice more activities. Till then, take care. Goodbye children. I am Savitri teacher.